Okay, here's another video. Um, I was I was in Newark today at uh, Newark Sif uh, Symphony Hall. I had I was told to I was one of the speakers, and uh, as usual, as the poster child, I was asked to tell my story to help those who may be going through the same situation I'm going through as having HIV AIDS, well, or having a, uh, being infected with the virus um, HIV. I'm um, telling my story to you know a whole bunch of uh, the, uh, a big crowd. You know, with a lot of people, various ethnicity, and you know, people just basically doing my work and prevention and sharing my story. Um, and then I had went to Rutgers in Newark, in the same place, just different location. Um, I was there, and I wasn't too sure if I went to the wrong building or whatnot. But I was supposed to be speaking again, but it didn't happen tonight. But I guess it worked out for us good because my brother, my gay brother, um, who I love dearly, who used to be my bully back uh, in number 15 school, back in, I think, first or second grade, something like that, he always tell me not to tell people this story, but, you know, it's true. That's how I met him. He used to be my bully, but we've grown up so much and matured so much to where that we have this special bond. You know, I don't even call him my gay brother, but I call him my brother. You know, I look up to him, even though I'm older than him, I do look up to him because he has went through a lot within his short years of living. He's 22 himself. And he, when I say he went through a lot, he went through a lot. He's HIV positive himself. Um, you know, he shared his story with, uh, um, with the audience at Rutgers. And he really inspired me to tell my story even the more, you know, and tell it in, you know, the right way in current events and not go from one subject to another subject. But he, when I say he broke it down, he broke it down right, you know, and he, I, I really applaud him because he was never the type of person to share his life story. He was the quiet type, you know, he kept a lot of stuff bottled in. He went through some things by himself. You know, and it took a lot for him to get to where he's at right now. He's in college. Um, he's working. He has his own place. I mean, he's doing a lot, and I do appreciate him. And I'm doing this video because I just want to let him know, and if you're watching this, I just want to let you know I thank you for being there, for being an inspiration to others, and doing the good work that you're doing. You're helping those to see that having HIV may seem easy. Just because people tell you that, oh, it's not a life sentence anymore. But when you take your medication every day, it reminds you that you have HIV. It reminds you of what's ahead of you. Now, you can think it's a good thing. You can think it's a bad thing. But you have to keep pushing forward. And that's what I'm trying to do. And that's what my brother is trying to do for himself also. And I just, I just want to say I thank you. I really do thank you, and um, just keep doing the good work. You're doing a lot for yourself, and don't let anybody push you away from sharing your story, because you're really changing lives each and every time you speak. So, um, I know I better get a comment or a rating for this. I'm not getting paid for this. This is really coming from the heart. And I know I better get a phone call. So... I thank y'all once again, my audience, for listening, and, they, and you know, I'm not to say any names, but thank you.